Okay, so I sent last week's video, like once I got it uploaded and stuff, sent it to some nail friends, told them to watch it, give me their feedback, um, and I watched it for my own feedback. <laughs> you never know what my feedback's going to be. That's why I needed backup. Um, and the one suggestion was to be a little closer. So I'm a little closer this time. Let me know if that helps you out. Uh, I think that was all like overall, everybody said it was pretty good. Um, slash better. So hopefully you're feeling the same. I drew on my finger and it's still there. Okay. Look, you guys, I had to show you these. Okay, remember I told you I'm going to be slugging away um, through the winter. So, these are my little gloves that came. Now, I ordered pink because they were a dollar cheaper than the blue. So, you know. Um, I have really small hands. If I pull them up nice and tight, I won't have the hang down. But I got a really... No, I'm probably always going to have hang down. Anyway, Stacy, why are these so good? I mean, A, they have a polka dot freaking bow on them. But B, you guys, they have the touch screen on the pointer and the thumb. Oh, yes. Because here's the thing. Girl, I ain't wanting to get my hands all gummed up and then not even be able to, like, play a game or listen to my book or... You know, your usual stuff when you go to bed, right? You want to be able to scroll still. So, that's what I got. So, my routine is going to be... Oh, biscuit holer, you guys. I was going to get down my jojoba. I'll link my jojoba. Like, I was going to get down the big bottle to show you. Here. There it is in the little bottle. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's freaking jojoba. So, I will jojoba the heck out of everything. I don't need to leave this on like... You guys came to watch me in my gloves. Um, I'll jojoba the heck out of everything, like nice and thick. And then I will put um, cocoa butter healing jelly, Vaseline, over top. Uh, super cheap. And the big thing of jojoba, which is what I was going to show you, is cheap too. Like you can get your own setup going for not much. Uh, the reason why I got the cocoa butter one is because I wanted something that was going to smell good, right? Um, the jojoba doesn't have any smell. And so I figured then if I was going to like lube my hands up after that, it should smell nice. And this one just smells lovely. The cocoa butter smell is great. Okay. So then once I've done that, then I can put these babies on and sleep in them. Now, a couple things I'm going to add at random, like no no particular necessary order to it or like not necessarily that I'm going to do it every day but like once a week I'm going to try to remember to do a good um oily sugar scrub um and then do my hobie and and that's what we call each other now he he still calls me Stacy and I call him hobie we're friends like that um, and then I'll put my Vaseline on. The reason for the Vaseline is that um, the petrolatum, and you guys, when I heard them say petrolatum, I thought they were po pronouncing petroleum wrong. No, two different things. That was a whole different side research, by the way. Okay, so the petrolatum is too big to absorb into your skin, so it causes a barrier. Um, the water can't escape your skin and you'll be nice and toasty warm and your skin is just going to drink in. My skin will probably actually drink in about five bottles of this first time I do it overnight. Um, and then also, um, I will heat up my flax bag sometimes and do that, like hold it between my hands or use one of my bigger ones. Um, that I can just wrap around both hands so that I get some extra heat in there or I will use my little like um, heating pad style mitts that you can put your hands in and turn those on. Now the only thing that holds me back from my mitts you guys is that I am stationary then for 20 minutes. So I have to make sure 
that I have a video long enough to watch or that I have my book on and I'm not going to be interrupted. So, oh crap, there's a yawn. So there's that, but when I ordered these, they came as two pairs. So I thought it would be fun. I just left the other ones in here. They have little stickers on them that tell you they're touch, touch, touch. Um, yeah, so I just left them in here. Uh, so you let me know below if you'd like to ride my slug. <laughs> That's the best code word ever. Would you like to ride a slug this winter, you guys? Let me know below. I will spin. So, like, today's the 8th. I'll wait until, like, a week after to do the spin. As long as it crosses a weekend, usually, then people, like, get caught up or whatever. So, you know. So, there we go. The second set I will use as a little prize. They say they're breathable, comfortable, durable, different sizes of your choice. Aid absorption of hand cream and moisturizer. SPA eczema treatment moisturizing dry hand skin disorders to touch screen fingers. So, um, don't put your head in it or anything, okay? And these were just the size small medium, uh, but they feel like plenty stretch and just fine to me. Like, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know how much bigger the like the large extra larges or whatever so <clears throat> okay now i need a sip i'm drinking russian russian tea tonight you guys and it's delicious it's just a, like a spiced a spiced fall i want to say a spiced fall tea but you guys i mean it's not really very real when it <laughs> when you think of tea it's like tang and um, black tea powder um, lemon um, like the crystallized lemon powder you can do black you can do lemon black tea too um, willow throws in like dried orange I mean, you can go as crazy as you want, but it is so fall and winter, Ooh, cinnamon, etc. Okay, anyway, here we go. No holding black, because why not? Star for the course. Those, you guys, were my two extra things that I just added tonight. Previously, watermelon session. Actually, you guys, initially I was going to use Silver Lust, and then after I used Watermelon Session, you guys, this is such a good freaking color. So I checked with a couple friends that I knew might have a, a set of it. They wouldn't care, like they'd want to trade me for something. And dude, we did a deal, and now I've got a whole nother full set of it. So I'm super excited because I loved this. I used it with my last Halloween set my glam Halloween set and it was awesome it's really good it's very like fun I think I said that before it's it's like bubble gum I don't know it's like bubble gum on your fingers it's probably the last thing you want okay and these have been part of the plan for the whole time um my moon phase decals and there's like little uh you know, faux tip action going on, cloudy, um, and clouds and stars, and oh, God, I love them. And these were Amazon, and that link is posted. Oh, crap. It was one of the Halloween ones where the witch was flying in front of, where the witch flew in front of the full moon and clouds and, you know, that whole story. That's where it was. That's where I first used those. Okay. And also, I purchased purchased those. I got those on the Amazon Prime, like, pre-days. Like, start giving us your holiday money right now. Just know I didn't give them any holiday money other than for de <laughs> nail decals, of which I ordered a bunch. So... I don't feel bad. They had tons of them on sale, about 30 pages. 
Sorry, suckers. No Christmas for you. I just spent all my money on nail decals. Um, alright, so did you remember to vote today? Or actually, since this will be posting bright and early, please remember to go vote today. Also, it's full moon. What what what? That's why we're here. And you guys. Because I'm here to be educational. <laughs> oh, shit. Please don't tell me you ever come here. <laughs> oh, feather humper. Um, thank God. I gotta get myself in control. <laughs> I hope nobody's coming here to learn anything, really, but... <laughs> This channel is for entertainment purposes only. Oh shit, I don't know why that struck me so funny, but it did. Okay, you guys know I love doing my full moon sets every month. I am just... I, I was definitely one of those witchy gals back in the day. Reincarnated to me now. I just have always had a draw to it to like the nature herb um I would love to have a giant cauldron and boil Dathan in it no. <laughs> I just I'm just so drawn to it and and I find that I can find magic in things all the time even the smallest things you know anyway um so I do the full moon. I try to do, always do a solstice set, like, um, and I do them just for like the love of it, like, and not necessarily because I have, uh, you know, I'm not coming on like telling you about the moon for that month. But guess what, bitches? No, <gasps> don't talk like that. No, seriously, that's one of my favorite things. One of my girlfriends that calls and when I answer the phone, she always says, What's up, bees? But she doesn't say bees. Anyway, um, guess what, you guys? It's about to get informational. And tonight, I was like, wait. Every full moon has, like, you know, um, it's named something. It has something connected to it. From the olden days. From the olden days. God. You can't even look at that, you guys. Now I've got to watch D Stash for watermelon session because it is really good. Anyways, so this moon is a beaver moon. Didn't know it, did you? Okay, you probably did. But even if you did, sit back and enjoy a little beaver moon slash November full moon story. I got something. I think it's a piece of glitter and it doesn't want to leave. Um, there we go. Okay, so first let's just think about this. Today, November 8th, election day, full moon called the beaver moon. And we will also be having a total lunar eclipse. Like, I don't know, girl, that is a ruckus if you're asking me. Let's just ask him for trouble. All right, so let me tell you um, why it's called the Beaver Moon. So, uh, by the way, I'm getting my source. If any of you are grading me, my source for this information is good old-fashioned Farmer's Almanac, which I just find endlessly interesting. And for years, that was what Willow wanted in her stock stocking every year was the new farmer's almanac and it's funny that now that I say that you guys guess what that girl's getting in her stocking this year because she hasn't asked for it for ages but I bet she just reads it online because that's how she is too but now I'm get her one she'll appreciate that anyway uh beaver moon it's when the this is because this is the time of the year when beavers begin to take shelter in their lodges having laid up sufficient stores of food for the long winter ahead during this time 
during the time of the fur trades in North America, it was also the season when they would be trapping beavers for their heavy pelts for the winter. You know, same idea. So, um, but I don't know if I had called, heard it called the beaver moon before. So then, scroll down a little further, and now I know why, because there's a few different names for it um one of it being frost moon which i think is what i've heard it referred to as before because you know basically this is when you're starting to get frosty girl um so then i when i realized you know that well i didn't just realize it i already knew this but when it came to me that i should be you know my full moons full moon nails should be going along with whatever the moon name is you guys why did that just come to me now but it did um it was too late because I already kind of had my heart set on watermelon session sorry but then I had a little laugh because you know what some beavers are pink oh my gosh it just got super PG-13. And some of you are snorting out your coffee right now. And some of you are unsubscribing. If you're unsubscribing, it's probably best. Because sometimes Stacy gets worse than that. If you're snorting out your coffee and you have not subscribed yet, would you please do it? Because <laughs> about 40% of my viewers are not subscribed. I would love to hit 1,000 throw a like, subscribe, share me with your friends. I'm enjoyable. If you didn't just clutch your pearls at that, you'll have a great time here, trust me. So anyway, there we go. Welcome to the Pink Fever Moon Nails. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, and normally you guys would be like, Stacy drank too much coffee today. But here I am, sipping away on my Russian tea, so what are you going to blame? You can't blame my coffee today, you guys. You know what you can blame, though? Excitement. Do you know what has me excited? Today, we found out about the subscription boxes. Yay! Are you guys cheering? I mean, I am very excited for the subscription boxes. So... Hang on, let me see if there was anything else I needed to tell you about the moon. Um, other names they have for it is digging or scratching moon. Um, and which I also thought that was cute and I totally could have done a play on that because it's related to like um, all the animals that are forging for fallen nuts and greens and stuff. So that's super cute. Bears digging in their winter dens. Um, deer rutting moon, which makes sense to me because I'm from a very deer hunting uh, area. So that would make sense to me. Um, and then whitefish moon, which describes the spawning time for fish. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of randomness. I just thought it was would be kind of cool to know more if you hate it. You only got to deal with it once a month. So, there you go. Okay, so, let's see. Have another sip of your tea, Stacy. And, okay, pointer finger is no holding black. But... Oh my gosh, you guys don't know how much I love knowing that you can see this whole spot. Before, like, almost always, I'd be clipping over my garbage and I knew my garbage was like 180 miles off screen. Also, it's going to be one of those love-hate things because you know how, like, you take a picture to send to somebody and, like, shove all your junk out of the way because you want to make sure that your area looks clean. That's kind of what I do to my desk sometimes <laughs> before I turn my video on. <laughs> I 
won't be able to do that now. <laughs> I'll have to really shove things out of the way. <laughs> okay, so sub boxes. And you guys, you're going to know all this stuff by now. But still, I want to talk about it because it was all like fresh to me today and I'm very excited. Um, okay, so today is the first day you can enroll. Oh my god, you guys, I don't even know what we should be thinking of this day, okay? It is a full moon, the beaver moon at that, voting day, lunar eclipse, and the first day to enroll in sub boxes. Jeez. Talk about packing a day full. Holy crap. We aren't gonna be able oh, that everything about this screams poodle skirt to me for some reason. Are you guys seeing poodle skirt there? Okay, anyway, you can start a rolling to enrolling today. And you have until November 30th to enroll for the December box. Um, the first theme is the Roaring Twenties. So they will tell you what the theme is, or they will tell us what the theme is, but they will not show us what the sets are. <gasps> I love that. So, real quick, while I'm thinking along these lines, you guys, what I am going to do when I get my set. Because A, here's the thing. I don't want spoilers. Like, I don't want to see them before it lands in my lap. I don't. I love that we get a hint at it, but that's all. I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, hang on. I got a doctor a little piece here. Using my world's best scissor skills. Um, so we will get to know the theme, which should give us ideas. So, for example, if they said um, the theme is sports this month, then you can opt out for that month. So that's lovely, because I will. <laughs> if they ever say the theme is sports this month, I'll be like, and out. Um, but Roaring Twenties is this first one and it's very glitzy glammy probably going to be well suited for um like christmas parties and um new year's eve and such is my thought but i have no idea nobody's gonna know the sets the sets are the surprise gonna be a surprise you guys Oh, that was my point. I don't want spoilers. So what I'm going to do is Willow is making me a graphic that basically says, you know, something about this month's sub box, spoilers inside type of situation. So that when I get mine, so normally when I get my stuff, you guys, I go live over on um, Facebook in Sassy Crew. And I live stream comparing sets and people can ask me, you know, if I have a certain set to pull to compare to something that's new. Um, and then usually when I come over here, I go with what we found, like what we thought were the closest then are the ones that I will show when I do my live over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do a live on Sassy. I am going to, um, is that upside down? Yeah, there we go. I'm going to record and show what I think the comparisons are. And then, um, the little intro picture will just be like, It'll just tell you guys that there's spoilers inside for this month's sub. So it will be up to you because some people have said, I would like to know, like, I want to see it right away. And some are like, nope, I don't want to see it, which I'm in the camp of I don't want to see it. So, um, so I will 
show it right away on a video like the day I get it I'll do the video right away uh, oh that's pretty that works for our frosty moon doesn't it ooh gravy and this to me is like good starry sky oh it's good okay anyway um so I will do a video I will pull out loads of comparisons like anything I have that falls in that realm so if it was a you know like an orange I'll pull out all my oranges or my yellows or whatever you get the idea I mean most of you know you've seen me do color comparisons for um like in Cocoa Japan and just different seasonal stuff on here so you have an idea what I'm talking about so then that will be up to you so maybe you don't want to watch that video until you also get yours or um or maybe you want to watch it and see what's coming it'll be up to you but know that it will be here whoo you guys this is a good one it must be the teas put some pep in my step also, I didn't nap today, so that could explain a lot of what's wrong with me. Hope you guys appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, thumb. I cut a little bit off mine because I have very square thumbnail beds. Also, for a while, I thought my ring fingers were really square, or my pointers also but I just worked really hard on um what's the word my cuticle area and got them nice and rounded again I think they were just like you know covered in weeds that's what I think happened okay let's see here um okay so yes anyway that's what I will do for those so then you guys can leave it up to yourselves on, you can go, oh yeah, I got my box today or yesterday or whatever. And I'm going <coughs> to take a peek at Stacy's and see what she thinks it compares to. See if we agree on whether it's good or crap. Um, the sets that come in those boxes, you guys, are going to be... Um, 100% exclusive to those boxes so that is going to be a big big draw again I understand that you guys know all this stuff okay I understand that when this comes out you're already going to know but you're going to have to humor me because I just found out today and I'm excited um they're going to be $30 total that includes the shipping but will not include the tax so that's really good so basically I think it'll wind up being um, not not color wise you guys but style wise it's gonna pretty much be a cut and paste of like what were they called the DIY kits you'll get or also the ones the stylist got for their little samples when they got the first ones so you'll get like a full set of you know a slant or a French or a whatever I'm guessing the tulip tips will make a comeback um, they're gonna use like their most innovative ideas um, oh, come on don't wreck up on me. why has this thumb been such a pain in my ass the last two times I gotta doctor it again. Good thing I'm putting a bunch of nail art on there. Um, so I'm guessing we'll see a lot of different like pre-cut things. Like things maybe that lots of us do already but we just cut ourselves. That's, that's my thought on that. Which is fine. Because even if I don't need my slant pre-cut, 
you know, I can find something to do with that slant. Like, I can just put it down and use it for a whole finger. Um, so I'm guessing we'll get a full, the full set will be like a slant or a tip or something they think is innovative and goes with the theme. Um, and honestly, you guys, anybody, anything that gets more people to kind of get a little bit artsy and out of their box is good for me because, um, you know, if people just are content to throw on one set, then they don't find the value in like sheer sets and overlays and glitter dips and glitter overlays and color overlays which is why uh you know i talked about the colored overlays right away with the christmas stuff the fact that everybody's been asking for colored overlays but then they didn't order those blows my mind because for one you're basically we're getting you're basically getting a set for free because you're getting your tips you know two full strips of tip eight strips of tips or well 16 all together but then you're also getting two full strips of the overlay the colored overlay you know you weren't getting just plain old clear as day with it so it just was like mind-blowing to me that those were not the number one seller uh, I do wonder though, like when they're looking at their number one seller slash, well, no, just number one seller in general, I would, I wonder, um, you know, on their end, I would like to hope that they're doing some kind of data comparison. So like, okay, the little cute cookie accent pack that's overpriced was the top seller but who what accounts bought it was it stylist accounts was it because parties were turned in was it you know what I mean like where are those top sales coming from is it actual customer accounts is it you know what I mean and I'm not saying like that st the stylists um, opinions or whatever don't matter. What I'm saying is if the stylists are buying it to use as an incentive, like a prize, like a lot of people did, um, you know, do a buy three, get one from my link for this Christmas thing. And I'll give you an accent pack for free, which I don't care. That's not a big deal to me. That was lovely. But if that's the reason the accent packs sold like hotcakes, then those accent packs at, you know, $6 each are not actually the big seller you think they are because it's actually your stylist knowing they're overpriced and buying them and using them for incentives and stuff to their VIPs who are saying these are overpriced. Does that make sense? Did I just like ramble my face off a bunch of nonsense or does that make sense? So anyway, my point is I would like to know if they're tracking who's ordering stuff, you know, or at least looking into it a little bit. Oh, that's super cool. Okay. And then, um, okay. So anyways, $30 include shipping, which is great. Um, because let's per se, um, if you went on and just ordered a couple sets, um, you could order like an art set and a solid accent you'd have to pay shipping and it would be way above and beyond $30. And that would just be two full sets. Well, crap, now I'm covering up my little cloud biscuit holder. So, 
for me, they're just, they're a great deal because you're going to wind up with the full pack, um, and probably a couple of the little six finger packs where you get two strips of six fingers, the old style coconut ones. Um, and then you're also going to wind up getting, I'm sure at least one accent pack. My guess is they will be, um, style wise, they will be a copy paste of what the DIY kit was and what the stylus sample one was that they got to earn. So, you know. Yeah, that's super cute even. Well, I can still see my cloud just a barely bit, but not a ton. So that's a little bummer, but it's okay. Um, what else? Oh, so yeah, if you get a month, you want to skip. Like, when they release the theme on the first. Now, this month is different because this month, they're putting the theme stuff out tomorrow, I think. Which is, for, for me, like right now, November 3rd, I think they're putting out the theme information or pictures, I guess. And then um, we do our enrollment starting November 8th. But, you know, going forward, um, we will get our theme stuff on the 1st. And then you will have until the 25th, if you are already subscribed, to go, mm, I don't think so, and go into your account and say skip this month. And if you don't say skip this month by the 25th, you're getting charged for it and you're going to get it. Come the 26th, it's yours. But if you do wind up getting your kit and say there's a little some What? Say there's a little something missing in it. Like, um, Stacy got this six set whatever, you know hot pink set and I didn't get it they will send you your missing item but there are not returns or refunds but they will you know if they've forgotten to put something in if something gets overlooked because they are you guys they pack stuff by hand all the time anything you get that's old style where it doesn't open with the zipper pull that has the little sticker that's packed by hand so you know there's there definitely can be mistakes right um, what am I doing here? Okay. So anyway, you'll be able to skip a month. You know, maybe you don't like the theme. Maybe you just need a month off, whatever. So they didn't say anything about the DIY kits. I was hoping to hear that they were a great success and they were going to continue them forever. Personally, you guys, that Halloween DIY kit made my freaking year to the point that I may or may not have ended up with like seven of them. Yeah. I don't I don't freaking feel bad. That stuff's all good for the whole year. The only single strip I wouldn't use like year round is the jack o' lanterns. So Okay, well, I love that. I love this whole freaking thing, guys. It's gorgeous. So, yeah. Lord, this was a chatty video, you guys. Did it put you over the edge? Hopefully, it was interesting enough to you. So, I will do... I will make note in my head right now. Two, I will link those gloves. I will link my jojoba. I will link the Vaseline. I will try to link these decals. Um, I will link my warming mitts that I have that I'm going to wear over them sometimes. And then let me know if you're going to ride my slug, girl. Oh, Stacy, I'm going to ride your slug. Let me know below. All right, guys. Here we go. Eee. See you soon.